All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra's Lair. I'm your host, Larry, and we're back for some more Ludum Dare action with Ludum Dare number 34. And this time around, we've actually got um, one of two things that can happen with every one of these games. First time I've ever seen this in my time with Ludum Dare. Um, there's actually two themes that people could pick from. They could either pick the growing theme, where something has to grow and change or evolve or some something along those lines, whatever you can fit into the idea of growth, or you can do a sort of two-button control. And the first game that we're going to check out is a jam entry called Sort the Court, which is a game about managing your kingly uh, kingdom. And you really only have a yes or no type option because I'm a very lazy king and I can't be bothered to think dynamic thoughts and put forth dynamic proposals that totally don't involve um, invading all of the neighboring kingdom and stealing all of their cheese. And this is done by all of these folks here up on the screen. Code by Graybor, art by Amy MJA, and music by Bogdan Ryback. And I think I've seen Bogdan before somewhere, maybe crawling around on Twitter. Well, let's just jump in here and get started. So I've clicked yes. Oh, Mrs. Pennybottoms, I... I didn't know you still worked here. You getting saucy with me, madam. Oh, my lord, uh, I'll help you rule your kingdom, but you have to make the tough choices. Just say yes or no. Do you understand? Yeah, all right, Mrs. Pennybottom. I, I suppose if you're gonna get surly with me and I'm too lazy to get off this really plush chair, it's, it's got good back support. Um, all right, good. You've already got the hang of it. All right, so the city's not what it used to be. There were once over 250 people living here. Tell me, King Larry, do you think things will ever be the same again? I'm sure, you know, we're probably gonna make it even more than 250, so I'm gonna say yes. I have a tyrannical empire to run here today. All right. Oh, well, at least you're confident. Let's get started. Oh, Mrs. Pennybottom. All right, so. First up, we have a military general who needs our, uh, input. A nearby town has asked us to form an alliance with them. Should we use them to beef up our ranks? I mean, I don't really see a problem with being scarier. I mean, it makes it less likely that the other kingdoms will come on over here and kick my dog. So yeah, let's do that. That sounds like a good plan. All right. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought too, Mr. General. More swords. Ah, the butler. Oh, there's a party I'd like to go to this evening, my liege. Might I have the rest of the day off? Well, uh, Mr. Arbuckle, the butler. I mean, I, I don't leave this chair. There's literally just a hole in it for me to do my business. And there's like a weird slug monster that brings me dinner. So I think you're good. You have, the, have the day off, sir. Do, mm -hmm. do the thing. Uh, yes, do do toast. Do do a toast for Larry and his awesomeness. What the heck are you a yet to? I would like some money, please. You look scary. I'm gonna pay you to go away. There you go. Mm -hmm. Have some dollars. Wow, you took a lot of money. What? What did you do with that money? What, Mrs. Pennybottom? What's going on? Oh, oh, a petition to bring the circus to town is circulating. Could attract tourists. Are you interested? I love the circus, Mr. Pe Mrs. Pennybottom. I mean, you know that, looking at the people with mustaches who shouldn't have mustaches on their lower thighs, and watching the people with oddly long hoodoo arms fight with jousting poles. Let's, let's do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Oh, we made our money back. Yeah, that, that looks real good. Sweet. Oh, day one complete. Population plus 25. Happiness plus 16. See, Larry does make a pretty awesome lazy ruler if everyone just turns everything into a yes or no. Man, our- uh, the world democracies could learn so much from this. Uh, Mason, could I trouble you for a sandwich? Surely the cost of one sandwich is nothing to such a great king like you, Larry. Dude, you look like you've had like all the sandwiches. But you also look like you could eat me, so here, have a sandwich, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. I, okay, that's cool, I guess. 
And fisherman, my boat is too tiny to catch many fish. Can I have some gold to upgrade it? I'll pay you back, I swear. Well, you better, Mr. Fisherman, because I've got this weird slug monster that brings me lunch, and he will mess you up. He'll go right for your kneecaps. So, yes, you can have the dollars. Mm -hmm. oh, holy crap, dude. Dude, you are expensive. What kind of boat do you want? Military General, we've captured some foes on the battlefield. Shall we bring them home to put them to work? Um... Yes, uh, Rome was built on slave labor. Let's do the thing. Mm -hmm. We got some people and probably some loot, but they didn't share it with me. Do you find me humorous? No, that joke is bad and you should feel bad. <laughs> Get out of here, Skeleto Skeletron Jones. I'll like to I'd like to build a new granary, Larry. This could help expand our population, but it'll cost a bit. Alright, I don't really have a lot of money. Alright, well, it, it better bring me lots of people, and some of them better do hat tricks. Ah, uh, the people are happy, and the city is growing. So I do like this game. And I like the concept of this game. What? Boo, give me your gold or I'll eat your town. No, I don't have enough gold for you. Well... I do like the townspeople. Ah, uh, fine. Here, have my money. What? Mm. Holy crap! Dude, you are... Alright, well, now I'm broke. The treasury is empty, my lord. We could raise taxes, but the people won't like it much. Yes, raise taxes. Mm -hmm. A scary monster just, like, took all our money. You serious? But yeah, I like this game. It's... It basically reminds me of the game Democracy, if you've ever played that. But... Mm -hmm. At the same time, it's very simple, and I don't have to worry about, like, overcomplicated stuff, like understanding the dynamics of a huge democracy. I- no, I have not seen any slimes, witch lady. Mm -mm. And it's got a really nice set of music, too. Like, this is just kind of like a relaxing game that you can just kind of schmooze and relax and do the thing with. No, I don't want to- Actually, yes, I'll touch your vampire crystal. Mm -hmm. I see fame and fortune for you, Well, oh, thank you, Mr. Vampire. So yeah, this is basically just a very dumbed down, um, sort of town management simulator, where everything's just kind of random, fun, and a little bit loopy, and you gotta try and make the best decisions with what little information you have in order to craft a kingdom and lead it to fame and fortune. Ah, the yet-yet. Mom says I need to ask your permission to go on adventure. So can I please, please? Dude, you do whatever you want. You go get murdered. I don't, get, I don't even care. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Yay, I'm so excited to go exploring. Yeah, don't, don't hit your noggin, bud. Don't, don't do that. Grandma. Oh, hello, Sonny. Can I, yeah, here, have some money for the newspaper. Mm -hmm. well, old people, old people are the highest, like, voting demographic out in the world, so you really want to make sure that AARP doesn't say anything bad about you. Ah, oh, Mrs. Pennybottom, some refugees have arrived in town. Should we welcome them? Yeah, I'm not like Trump. I'm fine with refugees. Do the thing. Mm -hmm. Alright, very good. Yes. You, you got it, Mrs. Pennybottom. Oh, so I think the, this game probably ends when the picture in the, in the background is done being created. Vampire man, I'm skeptical about you coming in here with your crystal ball. Do, do you just want me to, like, stare at something weird you filmed with your girlfriend earlier? Fine, I'll look into it. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, I mean, I like fame and fortune. I do like the dollars. It's true. Now, that I could totally see this going into, like, a game where... You have branching storyline that's kind of randomly generated as you go. And as a whole hodgepodge of different sorts of people that track along a common story, kind of like Papers, Please, but with like a democracy, well, not so much a democracy, but monarchy simulator where you run a medieval town in a fantasy world. So what do you have to say to me, Mr. Wizard? I was just passing through and thought you might like some magic. Anything could happen. Sure, I've been just telling everybody who comes into my house that it's fine, do weird stuff with my carpet. Do, do the thing, Wizard Man. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm a bit congested. I guess he just murdered some people. 
He just came in here and, and murdered some people. That's fine. Look, skeleton bones. Skelly, you've got a skeleton of your own, you know. Don't you find it weird that you can't see it? No. No, I've never thought that, skeleton man, but I'm... No. We're not friends. You and I are not friends. No, I don't... Dude, I had a wizard come in here and murder people, and no one came to arrest me. It's fine. Nothing is weird in my kingdom. Little Fang, hello, friend. Care to gaze into my magical vamp? Look, vampy. I swear, if this is you doing weird stuff with your dog and peanut butter, you better not mess with me. I guess he just gives you money. Huh. All right. Are you interested in making a deal, bub? Your people's souls in exchange for my- No, get I need my people to build a kingdom, demon. Get out of here. Get out of get out of here with your weird Twizzler tail. Uh, Mrs. Pennybottom, do you just come in here with anybody you just pick up off the Greyhound bus stop? Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, fine, go build the houses. Do, do the thing. Yep, bring me people. Oh, Slimy, you're here with my lunch. I, I actually didn't know this guy existed. This is great. Hey, uh, it's Slime Day. Got a present for me? Sure. Whatever. You look like you're vicious and mean. Here, have have some money. Oh, you, you got it, Slime Jones. You, you got it. Don't eat me or dissolve my feet while I sleep. Not that I'm really using them. I haven't really gotten out of this chair in like 13 years, apparently. Oh, man. So, meow, it looks like he wants somebody to pat- Yes, I will pat that cat's belly. Don't you scratch me. Don't you do it, whiskers. You fuzzy little bastard. What? This cat seems slightly magical, not ch Of course I want to touch a magic cat. Uh, if- if Studio GB, Ghibli, and Miyazaki in frickin' Japan have taught me anything, it's always fondle magic cats. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. Yes, alright. Uh, okay, his name is Pancake. I mean, who can say no to a cat named Pancake? And apparently there's a mimic named Chester. Somebody plays Don't Starve. You ever see a treasure chest do a backflip? No, I haven't, but I'd like to. Would you- would you da- would you backflip for me? It, okay. That was... That was different. My lord, a man wishes to settle a dispute. He says he is way cool, but his friends say he's not. Do you think... No one who who has to get acknowledgement directly by asking if they're cool is cool, Mrs. Pennybottom. You know that. I thought you were better at this. All right, well, that's weird. But yeah, no, I, I could see this going into, like, mobile platforms really easily. That is cool. You found money? Did you rob an old lady yet yet? But no, I totally could see this going into mobile platforms as like a fun game to just kind of sit on a on a bus and not really have to like think too much about like fast-paced clutch maneuvers. And you could even have like a story you progress through and you have to like reach certain milestones within a certain amount of time so, in order to unlock certain pieces of the story, kind of like Papers, Please. Bok bok, it's running wild. Should we try to capture it? Dude, I want some fried chicken. You catch you catch that thing. Okay, apparently it murdered a man. It's like the rabbit from Monty Python. My boat's all fixed up, thanks to you. Interested in sharing my f Yes, I would like the fishing profits. You were expensive, sir. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Thanks, man. I mean you I think you totally made out with more money than I did, but fine. Have you s yes, I have seen Pancake. I touched him. Mm -hmm. I touched him inappropriately. Yep, he's- he's over in the corner. He's probably mauling a plant. Sneaky girl, want me to steal from the rich and give to you? Not just the rich, I'll steal from whoever, but- I would love you to steal from me- from me. You do mm -hmm. that. Oh, yes. Apparently she just killed some people and gave me their money. Apparently. Um, yes, I- I, yes, I would like you to tax the circus. It is not free to come to Larrytopia and to just set up your weird show with lions and murder. All right, now we got lots of cash, so in case of a dragon coming, I'm fine. All right, we lost a little bit of people, but we made a lot of money, so I'm sure it's fine. Oh, Mr. Boobert. 
Monsieur Esprit. Huh, you call this- Yes, I do, Moobert. You boobert. You mm -hmm. butthole. Frickin'. Don't- Don't come into my house and judge me. I'll send a, a, a priest or something to exercise you. Ah, working conditions for us are unsafe. Will you please spend some gold to it? Sure, man. OSHA's always on my ass. It's fine. Here you go. Mm -hmm. So, no, I like this game. It's got some very fun, very simple graphics. They're not world-shattering, but they all work and they all play very well. It runs in Unity. I really like the humor of this game. It's very fun. It's very surprising and random. And I could totally see this evolving into a game where you have meaningful branching story that somehow involves a yes or no type situations where you could sort of decide if you want to be an evil monarch and turn into a warlock or if you want to be like a King Arthur or if you want to be like Switzerland or something. And things about your castle and your demeanor and the different stories that you unlock would change as you sort of go down this path of story and eventually maybe you'd have to either take over the world or to um, save it from an evil warlock. I like warlocks. What, what, what's, the, what's the problem here, guys? Mm -hmm. Hey, the, the wizard gave me money this time instead of murdering 16 people. Someone should really arrest this wizard. And this, this could be something you could easily put on mobile, too. Like, you just click on either side of the screen and you get yes or no. It's that easy. Oh, uh, my lord, I, w I wish to embark on a, a treacherous quest. Dude, it's your life. I don't even, I don't even know you. Are you Hank? Is this Hank from the guild? Go, 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 whatever, Hank. Go get murdered. Yep, you do that. You bring me back some gold or something. Ah, uh, the extra food we've been able to store in our granaries has attracted more settlers. Shall we let them in? Sure. I like people. <laughs> but yeah, this is good. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I really enjoyed this game. It was a very good game to, well, randomly pick to start out our Ludum Dare adventures. I'm only going to do one for this first one because I'm kind of tired today. Um, I've spent the last two days moving snow because it's been snowing like crazy here in Colorado. But I've enjoyed this, you guys. This is excellent. I really, this was good. Um, 10 out of 10 on the whole idea of like a yes or no. And I, yeah, I could totally see this becoming like a next democracy or like the next branching story. Kind of Stanley parable e where it's kind of procedurally generated and could branch into a lot of different stories. I like it, and maybe even if you had, like, a yes or no where you could randomly, like, hire the Merchants Guild or the Warlocks Guild or something to start building out your city. I don't know, it seems very endless, the things that you could do with yes or no. It just, it'd be hard to kind of make it so that you could plan ahead for what you want to do with your different options without making it more than yes or no. So keep up the good work. Um, I've been your host, Larry. This has been Larry Does Ludum. I'll be keeping this up for the whole of the voting period. And um, I've got a lot of submissions, like over 200. But if you guys want to submit, I'll put the, the form and my other details in the description for this post and in the uh, YouTube description. And I'll catch you guys and gals next time. Toodaloo. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys and gals next time. Bye.